today we're going to do the reverse operation of multiplication using the Egyptian method or for, uh, using the method from the Rhine papyrus. So here, this is just an example we covered this yesterday. We're going to do 360 divided by 15. And I want you to uh, just uh, watch. Now, um, what was the feature of the uh, Egyptian multiplication that we learned yesterday? What's the feature? What were the things that are unique? And the one major unique feature in Egyptian multiplication is you don't need to learn your multiplication table like I asked you as, uh, in this lesson. You don't need to learn 7 times 8 or 6 times 8, 7, 6 times 9. That took a lot of years to learn, right? It does take some time. It's introduced when you're set, like 7 years old. And by the time you're 10 or 11 years old, you have an idea of what it is by you know, constant repetition. You don't do those kind of things in Egyptian multiplication, right? And so, in Egyptian the division, it's still the same. You are not doing anything of the sort. Yeah. So let's go through this in a simpler uh, example. So here, we're going to start, this is the first time we've done it. So we're going to do double this, right? We're going to do, so we always start with one in here, one. Yeah, again, let's go to the simple method. It's doubling. What's double one? Two. What's double two? Four. What's double uh, four? Eight. And double eight? Sixteen. Sixteen. Now, you also have to double this. Yeah, what's double fifteen? Thirteen. Double 30, 60, double 60, 120, and double 120, 240. Right, and so we think, and where, how do we know when to stop? Yeah, we think, we take hold of this, right? We to take hold of this number here and put it in here, right? So I'll just write it in here. Yeah, so I put 360 in here. What numbers in here add up to 360? What numbers in this column add up to 360? 120 Yes, these two numbers. So 240 add 120 is 160. Now the next step is what are the numbers next to 240? What are the numbers? 16. That's 16. And then this one, what's next to 120? 8. 8. You add them together. 16 plus 8, what's the answer? 24. Thank you. 24. And so 360 divided by 15 is 24. So here you don't need any multiplication table, just doubling. Now the interesting thing is uh, if we compare it to the multiplication, it's just the reverse. I'll show you what we did yesterday. Is it, is it divide or minus? Divide. So look at it here, it's exactly the same. Look, you double here, you double here, you double exactly the same. The only difference is this, yeah? So exactly 360, yeah, 360 divided by 15 is 24. Look at the solution, yes? I like you to look at it. Look, here we just do 16 plus 8 and we add together and here we do the opposite. Yeah. The opposite. And so in, in ancient Egypt, 
multiply division is the mirror of multiplication. Now, what? How do you compare that to the modern methods? If you look at how it looks in paper, the methods in uh, modern way of computing, uh, of doing multiplication and division, they are completely different. Completely different. There, there's no similarities. Are there any questions? If there's no more questions, yes, I'm going to give you your... Um, uh, after the things that you need to do to answer it. First question. Okay, what is 533 divided by 41? Right? What is 533 divided by 41? That's the first question. The second question is what is 775 775 divided by 31 and the last question is what is 756 divided by 63 <laughs>